first thing you did going wrong was you compared the federal income tax burden to the entire tax burden. That's a common conservative mind trick. But middle class and poor people pay more Social Security taxes, a percentage of their income, than the rich. Liberals believe that blacks are people and therefore are protected under the 14th Amendment. Conservatives believe that corporations are people. Now, liberals say corporations yeah. aren't human beings. They're not people. Here's yeah. Mark. Mark's looking at his constitution. We always know we've hit stride when Mark pulls out his constitution. That's right. Immigration is a federal standard. It is federal standard according to the Constitution. Flash my Constitution. He can wave his Constitution all he wants. One word, the Constitution of the United States. I respect right. the law and I respect the Constitution. <laughs> we know. I mean, how many people walk around with it in their pocket? <laughs> it is. I got it right here. Well, I got my uh, Constitution out. I happen to have my Constitution right here. Get out your Constitution, Chef. <laughs> I've got it right here. <laughs> the Constitution says the federal government trumps the state government. You know Hines v. Davidowitz, about. 1941 Supreme Court case. Yep. You've got your handy-dandy Constitution. Hey, Congress should have the power to lay and collect taxes to provide for the general welfare of the United States. There are bad apples in every business environment. Which is why you but need government regulation to ferret them I, out. There you and I will agree. All okay? right. You need the government. You need the we government. We both want to, to beef pursue. up the SEC. Huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, well, I'm not sure you agree on that completely. <laughs> Mark Levine, who is an attorney, not Levin, Mark Levine, who is an attorney. Schuster said, why, why is it fair to pin this on Limbaugh? If you heard Rush Limbaugh today, he specifically compared Barack Obama to Hitler. He said, in fact, that Bart Stupak was the Neville Chamberlain to Barack Obama's Hitler. This is not rhetoric that's coming out of nowhere. Hey, look, Ronald Reagan's poll numbers, I looked them up, for this same period were lower, were 4% lower. Bill Clinton's numbers were also lower than, than Barack Obama. Under Ronald Reagan, unemployment went as high as 10.8%, and it took three years to get us out of the recession. Still, he had a landslide victory in 1984. The talk show host, Mark Levine, constitutional lawyer and former attorney with the House Judiciary Committee. But I don't want to debate That's not what in, what's in the text of the Constitution. I just wanted to be yeah, clear yes, here. It I mean, is, I'm a strict constructionist. It is, the, it is You're the judicial the text, activist. As the Supreme Court has ruled for 270 Ooh. years. No, 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 sir. They ruled idiots. that last year. They ruled Not that all, last no, year. They've, For they've 200 years, they ruled the other way. All the time, Congress says that you are taxed if you don't do things. For example, your taxes are higher if you don't have a child. And Sarah Palin, I got to say, she's really good at snookering people. She's very charismatic. She is trying to convince all her mama grizzlies to deliver their cubs over to the poachers <laughs> for hunting. <laughs> Health care yeah. bill is not a budget buster. It's a budget booster. Don't use the loaded term socialist. I don't think Canadians are necessarily smarter than Americans. Sure. They get better care at half the cost. Yeah, oh. Please. All right. Sarah Palin is thankful that Alaska is a beautiful state, <laughs> thankful that she is never there and doesn't have to be there because, let's face it, it's a lot easier being a star of a reality show than governing a state. Just, just ask the situation. Martin. If money's going to control politics, and I hate it, but if it is, we should at least know where the money's coming from. We need a combination of socialism and capitalism. That's why we have Social Security. Oh. That's why we have Medicare. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you think it's authoritarian? that the government taxes you to pay for police force, that the government taxes you to pay They have the for right in the Constitution to levy tax. They do? Yep. But wait, I may not use the police force. Doesn't I matter. may not use the fire They have the right they in the Constitution. They force me to buy for something Levine, I don't need. You asked a very good question, and I'll give you an excellent answer. Don't have the right to force me to buy something. You're buying health care. Health care is for everyone. Look, a lot of states force health you to buy cars. for insurance. everyone. If there, I'm sure That's there are right. people out there going, I don't want it. I don't want it. See, Everybody you, you, lives or dies, well, it, Bill. Everybody needs some people. I'm part of the Tea Party movement. I will proudly disassociate, if that's what you're looking for, Mark, uh, the Tea Party movement from any of these people who say ugly, mean-spirited things. The Tea Party movement And that would include Rush Limbaugh, Limbaugh right, Matt Gallagher? Well, I, I mean, when I Rush Limbaugh compares Rush, Barack Obama I, to Hitler, you will disassociate yourself from Rush Limbaugh, correct? I will no no right? I don't want to associate myself I want, I'll ride on Russia's coattails all the way I can. Well, yeah, but, but he compares Obama day, to Hitler. Can... What's the difference? These What's are the all opi Mike? opinions that people have. The, the Tea Party movement doesn't have an official opinion about Barack Obama as Adolf Hitler or anything. Uh, whether or not he's Hitler, the dinosaurs are gone. All right, there's a limited supply of oil under the ground. There's an unlimited supply of sun. There's an unlimited supply of nuclear energy. There's an unlimited supply of wind and geothermal Monica, energy. It's not just Dick Cheney who's letting the oil companies write the regulations. The same people who are getting the royalties from the oil companies and trips and Super Bowl and all these <laughs> things are the people that are regulating them. We know that there must be some tie between Rombo and Blago somewhere, right? Where? What tie? Eric, there's no ties at all. Rahm Emanuel is going to be a great mayor of Chicago, and I don't know of any corruption charges against Rahm Emanuel. None. No, no, Do I you? didn't say there were corruption charges. I said there's, uh, there's, there may be videotape. I may, there may be phone conversations. I'm sure they met once.
I'm sure they did. He was the governor <laughs> and, and Rahm Emanuel's from Chicago. Dogs are treated far, far better than conservatives <laughs> treat Obama. I mean, I don't call my dog Hitler. I don't say that Come my on. dog is Kenyan. I don't call my dog socialist. The economy was in free fall. Right. To say that the stimulus didn't help the economy is kind of like it, saying that Mark, when you slam on the brakes, the fact that the car goes Mark, a little bit more forward you know, before it stops, that the brakes did nothing you know to stop the car. The stimulus package did work. What you found is we no, were losing 700,000 jobs on a unemployment month. is the score. It didn't it work. Would have been 14 percent. It doesn't to the matter what it would have been. He, got a stimulus. he didn't get the stimulus he wanted. The Democrats wanted at least 80 billion in aid to the states. In order to get one or two Republican votes, they had to cut it in half. And I've always said we needed a second stimulus package. I've always said the first stimulus package wasn't large enough. There are two ways to stimulate an economy, right? There's monetary policy and fiscal policy. Monetary policy, that's what the Federal Reserve does. They already have their pedal to the metal. They're already lending at practically zero. Banks can get any money as much as they want. Businesses are sitting on more cash now than they have in 50 years. They're not spending it. They're Why? saving it. Why? Why? Because there's not enough demand in the economy. You've said it yourself. Businesses are hoarding cash. And the reason they're hoarding cash, there's no demand for their products. If you're a toy manufacturer and you get a bunch more money personally, are you going to hire more employees you don't need? The reason you need employees is because there's demand for your products. Conservatives will tell you all the time, government is not the answer. Let the private industry do it. Leave Wall Street alone, and then they ruin the economy. Leave the oil companies alone, and then they ruin the gold. What people are learning is that government regulation is often necessary, and I hope Mike can agree with me. Repeat after me. Government regulation is often necessary. You can't trust the corporations to police themselves. You agree, Mike? <laughs> what, I, what I disagree strongly with is your What do you, your, do you need to destroy belief. before you recognize that? Let him, let him repeat after you or, or yeah, say whatever he's going to say, and then you, i got to go. Yeah, you asked the question, Mark. The answer is your side is wrong, whether you want more government, not less. If the government was so all-powerful and, and responsive, why haven't they stopped the leak? Let now the you want the government. Experts, let, let the, Newly let minted the socialists, okay. Mike Gallagher and Bobby Jindal, the, now okay. they want let, the government. I think you'll find the most pro-American people in the Middle East are the Iranian people, even though they're led by a bunch of dangerous whack jobs but that's who might not quite blow true. up Israel. There are enough Iranians, and the polls show this, that support the crazy mullahs for them to maintain power. If all the, of the people majority don't bill, you know that. Yeah. We do need to shut down Gitmo because do Gitmo is a gonna... symbol of American illegal actions. You... It is illegal. It's, it's outside wildly the effective. Do you, th do you think that no more we're effective than a prison in, in Kansas? If we or New stop York. drone attacks tomorrow, do you think the Taliban? Was, you know, we no. want these girls to go to school. No. We want. We're going to give up our aims on Pakistan. Not, not the Taliban. But, but here's the thing, Lori. As you know, or there's a lot of people that are sympathetic. Not the hardline Al Qaeda but people. But they don't care about but, that. No, there are a lot of people are sympathetic. Weakness. And the more civilians we kill, the more terrorists sometimes we create. If we, we can been, kill the bad guys yeah. and not kill the civilians, we're less likely to have people join the bad Even guys. Tell the Republicans to support the same bill they supported four years ago. Four years ago, 23 Republicans in the Senate in 2006, when George Bush was president, supported comprehensive immigration reform. Now there are none of them around. Now, why did all 23 flip flop, including John McCain? Well, I'm just glad you're not hung over today. I'm impressed that you're even. <laughs> in front of a camera. Who says I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark, you've, uh, you've had enough answering. Uh, look, question's gone to you. We're going to take a break. <laughs> Mark's got to rest for a minute. Uh, well, all right. What